everybody, today we have beautiful gaming laptop Asus Republic of Gamers Zephyrus G16 That's an AMD Ryzen 9 AI9 processor with great graphics RTX 4060 Let's take it apart, let's see what we can fix, upgrade or replace Let's start Okay, let's start with the bottom screws. Here we have two screws hidden under the rubber foot. Okay, now we have to separate the bottom case from the palm rest. So we use plastic tool, otherwise you will scratch your parts. Once you find a gap, Work your way around the edge to disconnect all the clips. All right, the bottom is out. Here we have the part number. Now we can access all the internal components. Start with disconnecting the battery. So to disconnect this battery, slide the clip, metal clip down and now we can pull the connector. This is how we close the clip. We pull it down. So now we can take out this battery. So if your laptop doesn't hold the charge or the battery is swollen, you can replace it. So that's our battery. Here we have the model number. Right, let's take out our storage. If your laptop doesn't boot uh, or you would like to upgrade your storage to the bigger one, this is how you can do it. That's the NVMe SSD drive here under that cover. That's our actual drive. Here we can see our Wi-Fi card. So if the Wi-Fi doesn't work, you can replace this card. Gently disconnect antenna wires. Now we can take out the card. That's the M2 slot. And that's our card. Here we have the model number and the part number. Now let's take care of cooling. Uh, if your cooling doesn't work, or the fan is making grinding noise, you can replace them. So unscrew a few screws. And disconnect it from the motherboard. That's first fan. Now we have our heatsink and cooling fans for the processor and the graphics card. So let's unscrew all the screws.
Let's make sure no cables are in our way. So that's the Wi-Fi antenna. Okay. Now let's disconnect the fan from the motherboard. Now let's lift the heatsink, be very gentle, don't bend it, it won't work if you bend it. Alright, so that's our heatsink, here we have the part number. This part is very, very fragile, so be careful with this. And now we can take out the fan. Okay, so that's one fan. And here we have another one. Okay, now we can take out our motherboard. So if the, and here we can see our processor and the graphics GPU. Both are soldered on the motherboard, unfortunately. So if they don't work, you have to replace the whole motherboard. So now let's take out the motherboard. Let's take out all the remaining screws. Connect all the remaining cables, the screen cables. Okay, now let's disconnect all the remaining cables, like the power button, our touchpad cables. Looks like everything is disconnected. Now we can take out the motherboard. Here we have our part number. Now let's take out our speakers. So we can like laptop is making bad noise. The speakers are worn out, you can replace them. Here we have the part number. Now let's see, that's our keyboard. Keyboard is held by these tiny screws, so you can replace just the keyboard or you can replace the whole palm rest keyboard touchpad assembly. Same with the touchpad, it's held by these three screws. You can replace just the touchpad or the whole assembly. So now let's disconnect our screen. Let's 
So we have to unscrew the, our hinges. We probably need to take out also the video cables here. Yeah, this is connected them as well. Now let's gently unfold our hinges. Looks like we have to take out this rear vent bracket. Otherwise the hinges are underneath. So that's our rear vent. And now we can disconnect our screen. So in order to disconnect the video cables, you have to press this together and pull it up. And this way you can disconnect it. Here we can see our Palmerist keyboard touchpad assembly. If you need parts, check gatlaptopparts.com. Looks like the power button is on the separate board, so we can take it out. So if it doesn't work, you can replace just the power button board. Here we have the part number. And let's also take out the touchpad. Very often this part is broken and then there is no need to buy the whole Palmerist touchpad assembly. You can buy just the touchpad. So that's very convenient. All right, and that's our touchpad. Here we have the part number. So now we have our palm rest with the keyboard. And that's our beautiful screen. It's very fragile, very thin. I would advise to look for the whole screen assembly. Otherwise you won't be able to install it. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.